citizens of the world. Welcome to the Go Report for Monday the 28th of January 2013 and you're joined by me Connor and Peter from Go Games and I have got the game releases for the week. So as far as we know coming out this week on Tuesday the 29th of January which is Pete's birthday. Um, what do you mean? You sound bloody happy. I don't know, I just can't get in the mood. I'm doing more Oh, fair enough. Okay, ow, bloody stapler. Right, um, what are you doing that for? I don't know. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, got distracted. Um, we got Dungeon Land coming out for. Oh, stupid bloody thing. Right, Dungeon Land for PC. Uh, we have, uh, what's it? Hitman HD Trilogy coming out for the Xbox and PS3. That's Peggy Rated 18. Uh, which is also coming out on the 29th as well. Uh, Wednesday the 30th, Skulls of the Shogun. That comes out on the Xbox Live Arcade and Windows, which is Peggy rated 7. On Thursday, we've got Antichamber coming out on PC. And... Oh, bloody hell. Wrong day. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, and on Thursday the 31st of January, not the 24th, ignore that. Um, we have Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed. That's Peggy Rated 7, and that's coming out on PC, as I believe it is already out for other systems. So, I will now hand you over to Pete for the news. Morning, people, it's Pete here. And I have some gaming like news for you. <laughs> yeah, I know it's the afternoon, I just like saying morning. Oh, Black Ops 2 Revolution DLC is out. New Black Ops 2. DLC to be released tomorrow with new zombies map and game mode called Turn, four new multiplayer maps and a, and a new weapon called the Peacekeeper and new achievements which have, have remained a secret till now. Uh, the pack will cost 1,200 Microsoft points and will be free with those for a season plus including me and Mr. G here. Uh, be released on 29th of January for Xbox and 28th of February for the PS3. Oh See, dear. That's why you, that's why you, that, you, see, you just don't know what you're doing Excuse getting a PS3. Me. <laughs> yeah, exclusive rights, in it. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah, the, the people sound so cool saying "in it blood." Oh yeah. I want to be how you're doing. Yeah, we're so cool. Right. Um, Nintendo server maintenance. What's this? Uh, Nintendo have planned maintenance to their online services across 28th and 29th of January 2013. Oh, that's your oh what a shame. Um, this. Shop yeah, uh, this will affect Nintendo Shop services, Wii U and 3DS eShop, Wii Shop Channel and DSi Shop. This may also affect some matchmaking games, Wii U, ma Wii U mainly. Oh dear, Nintendo has not disclosed why they are doing this. That's a bit of a pity. Oh boy, so exciting! Don't get them. Yeah, yeah, red and blue PlayStations. Yeah, basically, solely just trying to make sales out of red and blue. PC Super Slims coming out on the 15th of February. Ow, ow, what was that? The new models from the UK and earlier date of February the 15th, 2012. Yeah, so the one in Japan that's mm. coming out on the 28th of February. Yes, yeah, so if you didn't hear, Connor, if, if you watched the Go Report last week, you know that they're coming out in Japan on the 28th of February. That's fascinating, right? Um, yeah, I can't be bothered to read the rest of that because it's PS3. So, uh, Logitech to stop making gaming accessories. Logitech, or Logitech. have Logitech, Logitech, have announced their intention to stop producing gaming thingies by the end of the year. Sales are down 14% over, over, over year. Hang on. Over year. Oh, what? Over. Right. What the fuck does that mean? I didn't write this bit because I didn't understand any of it. All right. Uh, to 650 million dollars, while the firm made, while the firm made a net loss of 195 million dollars compared to the profit of 55 million. Dollars. The company insisted. Uh, the, the, the company instead wanted to focus on, on making the PC, tablets, and smartphone products. Oh, China. Oh, I like the Chinese. N no, well, not really actually. Um, China reviewing 12-year console ban. What's this? Chinese authorities are reportedly considering lifting a 12-year ban on the manufacturer, on the, on the manufacturer sale and import of game consoles. Fascinating. Ooh, what's it? Black Ops 2 top of the UK charts again. Sweet Black Ops uh, 2. Yeah. Uh, this is not the. Sh oh, this, this is not FIFA 13. Never mind. My desk. Oh, can't what the? How the hell did you do that, Connor? Oh, dear. oh my, that's not good. That, yeah. Connor's broken a massive chunk of his desk off. What the? How the hell do you even manage that? 
Oh. Um, anyway, Black Ops 2 has um, topped the charts again after a six-week unbroken spell. I mean, since a six-week unbroken spell when it came out last year. And that's the end of the scoreboard. I'll see you next week.